Hello guys, um, this is Don Offensive Demo and today guys I'm going to talk more about Proton and what it really is. So Proton is a tool that will allow us to run Windows games and Windows software that is from Steam that will play on Linux thanks to um, the tool that they have provided. So that means that the software of a game is only available for, um, for Windows but Steam for community has decided to make Proton which will make it easier for us to run these games on Linux. So Proton is a very useful tool. I use it all the time to play GTA 5 so it definitely does work correctly on GTA 5 um, but for some other games it may not run as well as um, GTA 5 does but it should be decently good. So basically we can go to a Proton website and if there's a game that I want to find out will run just click on over here to the search function and I'll search up for ground theft auto 5 and if it shows up gold then that means it will definitely run but sometimes it may show up silver such as if it will search up for false horizon then it will show up in silver that does not um that means it will be able to still run but there might be a few issues and basically bronze is lower down than silver so bronze would be basically um means that it crashes a lot there's there's a huge problems with it and so on so yeah so as you guys can see um bronze means that it runs but often crashes or has issues preventing from playing comfortably so there's some games that will say it's native that means there's a linux application or game that is available by the way, Steam does um, allow people to download so software such as Blender or um, some game engines that will go to be to install on Steam, but they're mostly games, so I would say games. So this game runs natively on your um, system. Okay, so basically, if you go to Explore, then you guys may see Broken. And that means that um, basically it won't run as well, it won't run at all. So a great example of this would be like PUBG. I do think PUBG won't run at all, but if we search up PUBG, we'll see broke. So that means it won't start or is currently unplayable. So that means you guys won't be able to play PUBG. And before buy a game which is above £10, I would recommend you guys to use Proton um, if it's not available for Linux, because you guys will need to check if a game will run on your system. So yeah, this is what I would recommend you guys to do before buying a Windows game on Linux. Um, anyway, let's do, let me just show you guys how to basically activate it. Just go to Steam. It shouldn't take that long to load at all. It should only take a few seconds. Um, let me just close that off. Software Manager. By the way guys, if we need some help, just click on to help and then this will be basically telling you guys how to improve performance and so on. Stats, I don't know what that is. Um, I think this is basically games with no, um, with N or more reports. So you guys can look at this if you wanted to. This is all report stuff. Um, yeah. This is the news, so that means um, new information that they have added. So a new release and celebration of a Steam holiday sale, so you guys will be able to go through all this because Steam has a holiday sale going on at the very moment. So you guys will be able to get games for a cheaper price and that's a good thing with Proton because now we can pay for a Windows game that will um, that will be cheaper for guys, for guys to buy. Okay, so it should be loading up any minute now if you guys can go to the library. Then I'll show you guys how to basically um you how to activate it. Okay, we open, have Steam opened. Okay, so what you guys can do is go to Steam. Now go to settings, and from here, what you guys should see is um is Steam Play. Just click over here, and you guys should see enable Steam Play for all other titles. Let's click onto that and say to the Proton um for latest version. I would recommend. Maybe you guys may need to use experimental, it depends on your, um, depends if you want to run for latest games such as Forza Horizon 5, I would recommend you guys go for Big Proton Experimental, these are like for, for newer games, that does came out, but if a game is from 2013 or lower, or even 2018 or lower, you guys should be fine with Proton 6.3-8, depending on when we're watching this video, it might have changed, so do bear that in mind. Now click on OK, and that should be fine. 
So as you guys can see, if we go to games, food games library, now if we go to Grand Theft Auto 5, if we go to the store page, then you guys will see that it's only available for, um, for Windows. But because I'm running um, Proton, I'm able to run this. But I'm not going to show you guys um, GTA 5 because I feel like that will just use up all of my GPU and it will not have any good experience while playing it. So I'm not going to show you guys as that as an example. But I'll show you guys as an example of Death Valley. So once it installed it, it will install all the necessary Proton um, stuff. So just wait for that to be done and we should have it downloaded. If you guys will see in a minute, um, basically it's available for Windows and Mac OS. So you guys can see it's not available for Linux. But thanks to Proton, I can press on this play button and it should open up. But I might as well put down for desktop um, volume just before I play this awesome game. <laughs> Preparing to launch Death Rally Classic. I haven't played this game in a while, to be quite honest. This game is a very, very old game, in fact. Okay, guys, so as you see, guys, um, this is going to be opened up any minute now. Yes, like this, it opens up because of how amazing Linux is. Alright, so we can go start racing, and now we can start a new race, and then now we can give ourselves a name. John is the best. Um, I can't do anymore, but that's completely fine. Do you want to use weapons? Nope. And now we can click onto that, continue, and now we can go to Desert Run, and so on. So this will allow us to play these types of games um, if we wanted to. So this is a, we're only available for Windows and Mac OS, but because we're running this with Proton, we're able to run this amazing game. And I can run these people over, and now I can exit. Um, yes, exit. Um, let me just exit from this, because I don't want to play this right now. No, I, oh gosh, this is super annoying. Okay, now we can go to um, previous menu, and now we can exit to OS, and yes, we can exit. So guys, for a reason why I really, 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 really do like Proton is because I'm able to play games that's only available for Windows, but I can run it in Linux now. And thanks to Steam, thank you guys so much for making this because now I don't have to use this shitty OS and now I can start using Linux more. Yay. So yeah, I'm pretty much I'm happy about Proton. Um, do bear in mind, guys, that some games may not launch or may not work um, at all. So if you want to play a game and you want to switch to Linux, but for game is not available for Linux, do bear in mind that it may not work or it may have some issues with the game. Personally, I had no issues with Proton at all. It works for me amazingly, but um, I did have Grand Theft Auto 5 crashing me on a few times, but it's, it's normal, I guess, for games to crash on you. <laughs> but yeah, do bear in mind that we may encounter some issues or even worse, we may not be able to launch it at all. But anyway, guys, um, I would highly recommend you guys to use Proton if there's a game that I really like to play. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm going to end this video there. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.